welcome back. That just zoom me out actually. Oh, that's the wrong way. There we go. So for those who don't know, this is a painting that I've been working on and I started it before I went to Amsterdam. Now I went to Amsterdam for the culture, the art, the tulips, got there a lot of the events that I wanted to do actually weren't available because they were fully booked like weeks in advance. Because I started this before going, I'm just going to carry on with it. It was just to influence my artist practice anyway, but actually whilst being away I decided that what I wanted to do with this was actually remove this colour and the reason behind it is actually because there'll be too much colour. I thought the colour of the tulips should be demonstrated on the background. It also means I need to make this, these objects much, much bigger as well. Which is going to take a bit of time. That's what you're joining me to do today. If you ever get the chance to go to Amsterdam, it is really, really good. There's a lot of culture there. Everyone speaks English, which is an added bonus because it is a bit daunting when you go abroad and no one really knows your language, so you have to like Google and translate everything, but it's okay. Then we actually stayed outside of Amsterdam, about 10 minute metro drive, drive away, uh, metro stop away. Which we actually found at the start a bit like, oh, did we make a mistake? But actually, one, it was much cheaper <laughs> to stay outside the city. And two, it was a lot quieter. I'm actually um, blessed with being able to travel quite a lot because... Well, it's a very expensive thing to do, isn't it, nowadays, travelling? Especially the cost of living crisis, it's more like a little holiday for us, but we do quite a lot of city breaks. As it tends to extend. Our, well, six weeks holiday that I get given for my work. So a quick reminder for what this paper, well, this textured background is. It is the mixed media collages that I did when I first moved up north because I literally had no money and I only had mixed media skins as well, bits of paper. And they're like little composition drawings that I made when I had no other material and that quite good when you just want to focus on your observational skills because it's all to do with balancing the colours, the combinations My hands are actually covered in um, water-based ink because I've just done a video on my tulips and spider prints. I'm actually really enjoying doing this project. It's funny because I actually only started it because my tulips are in the front garden and I just wanted to paint them. 
and that's turned into a couple projects <laughs> that's just come out of the blue. Or oh, one unlucky thing that I did actually get to do, which I didn't realise I could do. I went to Rembrandt's house. There was an option for to listen to the audio guide, but I actually felt a bit queasy. So I just wanted to just wander about and not have anything blasting in my ear. It was quite interesting because the house is quite shallow and long. Look, not shallow, long? That doesn't make sense. It's quite narrow and long, which is quite confined as well. Nice to see you have a little study underneath the stairs, which nowadays I don't think to do. Oh, I want to say it's opportunity to thank uh, Michelle, Michelle if you're watching, uh, for buying some of my artwork recently. Um, I really do appreciate it, especially in these times. Um, she bought a little liner print of glass and brick, which is actually one of my best sellers because I sell them on for a fiver and only about a five size. And I find that my liner prints tend to be the best way of getting a bit of income in. Because I'm not going to lie to you. Would be nice to be able to earn some more money from this career because that's what unfortunately has to pay the bills <laughs> no matter of currency i think i'm just going to expand these out a bit more Well, I have decided as well with this, I am going to be using white, obviously I'm still waiting for my white to get here, it's been about a month, <laughs> um, sometimes I get really unlucky, I had a voucher from Amazon for Christmas and I thought you know what, I need some oil paint, it happens to be the best place and cheapest place to get it from, and I always never seem to get the uh, point of but what I mean, it's happened to me before where it's taken a while for me to get to it and I've been like, oh, can I just eventually get a refund? But then like, the item's not lost, it's just taken longer to get to you. I'm just like, yeah, but it's been a month. <laughs> it shouldn't take that long. Hopefully. Because I'm going to do black and white tulips on here. Like I do with my charcoal, chalk and charcoal drawings. Time. It's going to be a little pink. If anyone thinks this is a waste of paint, these colours are actually the ones that I have left over from going through my all things and even though I haven't actually got that money in art supplies as it is I'm still trying my very best to be able to curate some artworks with what I've got and actually some of the best artworks I make is when I'm restricting my palettes or materials because that is being limited it's actually where my subconscious paintings came from by having a limited palette. <coughs> I also have cold, more well, recovering from a cold, that's why I sound a bit weird. <laughs>
you see that the black isn't actually completely covering the orange I'll just have to go back over it after it's dried it's the only problem well what's a problem just issue is that the right turn of phrase with oil paint it's like you have if you want to go back over something you have to wait for it until it dries Oh, I've reached a new um, low, high. I get really excited because obviously we've um, moved into a new house um, and we've started stripping out the carpet and stuff <laughs> when, there's, uh, when the big bin <laughs> comes because it means we can fit more of it in because we don't really want to go down to the skip to get all well, the dump to get rid of stuff. So just gently pop it all in there. And we're just like, oh my god, I could fill another bin up. <laughs> it just reminded me of that because it's outside now. I don't know if you can hear the bin or not. When a painting doesn't seem like it's doing very much or you haven't, it doesn't feel like you've done very much, I find that it's still stuck in the first stage and that is getting down all of the marks. The general lines it may take a bit more long, well, a bit more longer, it may take longer to do just because which if you get don't get it right, you'll pay for it later on. I'd much rather be stuck in this stage for a bit longer than any other. And you know what? It's more realistic than some other artists that I see on YouTube that are just doing a painting within a day. You just think, hmm. Did you really do it in a day? Did it really take you that long? a lot of them speed it up and I feel like that's yeah it's great for you to see the progress of it but it doesn't represent how much actual time and effort and thought it goes into it and that's why I want more on my channel of things like these take time everything in life is about go 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 but actually it's quite a lot of thought behind I'm just going to start layering up this black just going to pull up the orange oh, I don't know if I mentioned my oil paints of choice if none of you knew 
is Winsor & Newton. I've always really stuck with them. I have tried other oil paints, but I feel like because they're so thin, the quality isn't there, and you end up using more paint, and it actually works out more expensive. You got. Okay. So, I am going to leave this here. Now it doesn't seem like I've done much, or it seems to look like I have done is colour it in. <laughs> Which, you're not wrong, you're not wrong, but like I said before, if the first ta stage takes longer and I do come out with a better artwork in the end, I'd much rather spend more time in the first stage and then be able to get the second and third stage done quite quickly because the main format and shape and features are there for me to be able to paint onto. Also the fact that I'm still waiting for my while for my titanium white. It's a bit of a drag this first stage, but I promise you in the end it will look so much better. It will just look stunning and I'll be very happy with it that I've got an oil painting of a tulip for what I've been wanting to do for many, many weeks now. <laughs> but it's lucky for me, I've got another project on the side that's very similar, which is my tulips in liner print. If you have no idea what that is, I'll leave a link to the latest video in my description box. But here we are. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. In my description box there are links to all my social medias and also my eBay selling account which is where you'll find all my artworks that I feature on my channel plus a couple of extras. It's also a PayPal donation page if you'd like to make a donation it'd be greatly appreciated. It is also in my Patreon if you'd like to join me on that it'd be greatly appreciated as well. If you can't do any of that don't worry about it I completely understand. Please just like and subscribe because I like to be paid for my videos eventually. <laughs> um, yeah, Thank you guys again. I shall see you later. Bye.